we're going to talk about this new feature under Experiments Pro called Reallocate in PNL. But at the same time, we're also going to go into Batch Pro and we're going to turn on Copy Excel to Transaction. So we're going to turn those two features on so you can see the combination of how this works exactly. So let's go back into QuickBooks Online and we're going to run a Profit and Loss by Class. And what this feature is going to do is it's going to allow me to reallocate or create a journal entry that would essentially move any values that are seen on a class or location that I don't want and I want to redistribute them or reallocate them to ones that I want. So for example, here under not specified, I have one, just one expense in this particular example, depreciation expense that I want to split across multiple classes. Okay. So I'm going to take that 44,000, split it up amongst multiple classes without doing any manual journal entries. So I'm going to come up here to the reallocate button right on the top right of the report. And then we're going to have a pop-up that's going to show me all the accounts that have values under the specific class or location that I selected. So in this specific case, I selected not specified. Basically, these are all the transactions that are missing a class. There's only one uh, expense account that's in there. And all I have to do at this point is click on next. And then it's going to say, okay, how would you want to split this uh, $44,000? Let me just go back for a second. It's this 44,000. How do you want that, that split? So I can do a couple of things. Um, we have three total classes and I can click split evenly here in the bottom. And then it's just going to do 33, 33, 33, or 32, 33, 34. And that's going to be essentially an even split. I can manually uh, X out one, for example, remove one that I don't want, click split evenly again, and it will do uh, your 50, 50, because there are two classes, or I can take the total amount of sales and you have a lot of control here. So you can do it by total sales, total cost of goods sold, total expenses. You can pick any of these uh, groupings here. And then based on these, what we can do is we can click where it says split proportionally, and it's going to separate uh, that amount based on percentages for sales. So you can manually choose the percentage. So if I want to just do 40 and 60 here, I can do that by myself. Okay, so that's my choice. I can manually put whatever percentage I want. I can split evenly 50-50. I can split proportionally based on uh, sales or whichever other uh, sort of grouping I want to choose. And then once I'm done with that, essentially QuickBooks is going to create the journal entry for me. I can click on export journal entry if I want to, and then I can open the journal entry in Excel. There we go. And there's the journal entry for me in which I can use import software, or of course I'm going to use right tool to import that. But I can save a step essentially by, let me go back to reallocate, instead of um, actually saving the journal entry, what I can do is, let me just X out of this and split proportionally. I can click here where it says copy to clipboard. And when I copy to clipboard, it just sort of copies it in your internal memory. Then I'm going to click OK to opening a new journal entry. Click OK on that. And then a new tab will open. The journal entry screen will open. And because I turn on this other feature, the copy transactions or copy from Excel, paste from Excel, I can click on that and then I'm going to get the new pop-up that allows me to then paste my journal entry. So I'm going to uh, right click here and then click on paste. I'm just doing a simple paste. And remember, I got this information from the previous screen. Then when I click paste into QuickBooks and then it pastes the journal entry for me. I click on save and boom. Okay, now I can go back to my report, X out of this, and then when I click on Run Report, what's going to happen is this 44,000 is no longer going to be there. It's now going to be split uh, proportionally based on sales. So I'm going to click on Run Report, and now we see we no longer have the 44,000 sitting in this unspecified or not unspecified or non-specified class is now split proportionally. So that's pretty simple. I could have done that manually because it's just one line. But what if I have a whole bunch of expenses that I want to split over across multiple classes? So let's take a look at this one that says here overhead. So we're going to do it with this one. So we're going to click on reallocate. Then we're going to choose up here, not the not specified, we're going to choose overhead. And once I choose that and click on refresh, 
and now I'm going to see all of the amounts across all of my expense categories in my profit and loss for this specific class. So I can actually choose which accounts I want to I, I want to adjust. So I don't have to adjust all of them. I can just unselect and say, you know what? I just want to select these three, these four, and only these, the ones that are marked are the ones that I want to adjust. So in this example, I'm going to do all of them. So it makes it a much bigger journal entry. I can X out the zeros if I wanted to avoid working with zeros, that sort of thing. So I'm going to click on next. Then I can redistribute these same thing. I can do split proportionally. I can split evenly. Those are the different choices that I have. I'm going to do split proportionally one more time. I'll X out overhead here because I really don't need that. And I'm just going to be focusing on this two here with these uh, percentages. I'm going to do export to journal and I'm going to open uh, the Excel file. Okay, here's a journal entry that I just exported. Check it out. There's my account. We see all these adjustments here. We see a description. We see name, location, which are blank, and then the split across all the classes. So this is a 50 line journal entry that would take a very long time uh, to do. So I'll, I'll save that again. And then I'm gonna manu I'm gonna X out of this, manually go into my journal entries in QuickBooks Online. I'm gonna use the, the tool that we have already for this, which is our paste journal entry. Then I'm gonna grab the information from my spreadsheet, copy this, go back into right tool and paste that in here. There's my big journal entry right there. Then click on paste into QuickBooks. And there we go. Then I can click on save and close. Beautiful. Then um, essentially when I re hit refresh, essentially all of my expenses, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. All my expenses from overhead pretty much uh, disappear. So everything has been fully reallocated into its classes. Uh, it also works with locations. And we're currently working in developing it for it to work with customers and projects just as well. Hope that's helpful.